Today we're going to talk about how to do selective color in Pixlr Editor. Um, this is something that you probably have an editing app or way to do it on your phone. Um, it's basically taking a color photo, turning it into black and white with a pop of color. But I'm going to show you how to do this selective coloring technique in Pixlr. So when you're choosing an image, choose something that would be good to change into black and white with one pop of color. So I chose this image of my dog with the ball because I thought it would be fun to just have that pop of color. So um, we do have a new layout for Pixlr. So if you are struggling to find how to rotate your image, it's under page and it's page rotation, and that's going to um, rotate your image for you. So the very first thing that you need to do is make sure that your layer is unlocked, and then you are going to duplicate your layer. So um, you can do Control D or duplicate your layer, and then you're gonna take that duplicated layer and you are going to change that into black and white. So I'm gonna go up to adjustments, and I'm just gonna hit auto black and white. And now I have two layers, okay? I have my black and white layer and I have my color layer. So it's very easy to have a pop of color now because I'm going to use my eraser tool and erase on that black and white layer and the color layer underneath is going to show up. So for this particular um, work, I'm gonna zoom in because I'm gonna to need to do a lot of brush work. So we're gonna have our eraser tool and you're really gonna have to play around with your brush size. So your brush size can be quite large to begin with on your large areas, but then when you start getting towards your smaller areas, you are definitely going to want to change your brush size. So I'm gonna pause and do the um, real meticulous work of having smaller brush sizes here, and then I'll show you what the outcome is. So now that I have finished um, zooming in and doing those smaller brush sizes to really get my edges as accurate as possible, I have got a black and white photo with a pop of color. This is called selective color. So when you are done, you're just gonna wanna make sure that you file and save it as a JPEG, make sure that the quality is high and um, it will show up in your downloads.